What's up guys, YPRAPV here, and today we're going to be looking at another simulator, but this one is really not a simulator, it's just GTA 5 flying around the world in FPV. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the mod, see how to how it goes and how it you know pretty much looks on the computer, and see if this is something you actually want to go ahead and purchase yourself and start playing around, flying around FPV in GTA 5. So here we go. All right guys, we're in GTA 5. And I pretty much want to bring up the settings here. Do that real quick here. There we go. So we're in the settings, and pretty much use all the little things you can adjust to make it feel better. So this is the camera, and you can change your field of view, also your camera tilt as well. And then you have your controls. This is pretty much your rates, like in uh, Beta Flight or Butterfly or whatever. And then you have your drone. And then you have your gamepad, and you have your physics, and you definitely want to use the PID controller because that's kind of like Beta Flight has the PID controller, the PIDs, and all that stuff. And then you have more visual stuff here, and that's pretty much it. So once you're done setting it all up on there, let's go ahead and exit. So you do have like a turtle mode, and you pretty much can't die. So when you flip over, you can just flip yourself over, and yeah. So this is flying around, and it feels pretty good. Probably, it feels, I think it feels a lot like the Velocidrome, if you ever felt like how Velocidrome feels. So I haven't tried the new patch it just came out with, but, but it can feel any way you pretty much want it, like however you want to set it. And it took me about an hour to figure out the settings to get them all decently and I think I still don't think I have a hundred percent I think the acceleration go a little higher because it doesn't really accelerate high but pretty much the real question is this is something that you really want to purchase yourself because the game itself is 80 bucks then the mods free so if you um, not 80 bucks 60 bucks the game 60 bucks US dollars and if you want to go ahead and purchase it just to play this game that you know that's up to you. If you already have the game in your hard drive or you like GTA 5 and you want to pick it up anyway and you're like, well, I can play GTA 5 and I have the option to go ahead and do this, then I think that would be probably ideal. Uh, it is pretty expensive when you compare it to, you know, Liftoff, Velocity Drone, and all the games are pretty much like 20 bucks. This is, you know, three or four times more, but you also get a game where you actually can play some other stuff too with it. But... Other than that, though, I mean, you pretty much have the entire disposal of GTA 5 here, you know, flying around. So you can want to do dive uh, buildings, you want to go down the um, to the area where they have the park, where they have, like, the um, like the roller coaster and all that stuff. You can go ahead and play with that. So, really, it's a really fun little game. I would recommend it if you guys, you know, have the extra cash to spare or if you already have it on your computer. Uh, but do let me know if you guys want to figure out how to install this on your um, computer and be able to play. Uh, unfortunately, it is only for PC, uh, so you can't do this on PS4 or Xbox. But yeah, it's pretty much fun. So I'm going to do some flying around. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.